Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to make flour from wheat, from the actual plant. Now I know you've seen pictures of this, but you've probably never seen a whole field of it. This is winter wheat right down the road from my house. Let me show you a picture. To get wheat flour, first you have to separate the wheat berry from all of this hull, and that's called threshing. Then you need to winnow all of the chaff away from the wheat berry. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, all of this is industrial now. They've got equipment that will do all of this right in the field. I'm just gonna show you how to do it old school, maybe with a little bit of a modern homesteader twist. We're not talking about making 50 pound sacks of flour. I'm just showing this out of concept alone. So obviously the first thing that you would need is the wheat. And this is dried. And let me show you a close up. Each one of these little segments contains a wheat berry. And the wheat berry has a little hull around it. You want to get around all that chaff. Okay, that's called the chaff. You don't want to eat that. So this is what you want. That little tiny piece of wheat. And then this can be ground into flour. You can bake your bread out of it. Now you'll notice three of these just popped out. It pops out pretty easily. Four. All right, keep in mind, this is just for proof of concept. This is not an efficient way to do it. This is not the way anybody does it. I'm just showing you how to do the process. So basically first you need to separate the heads of the wheat away from the stems. Normally you do this with a sickle in the field. I'm just gonna cut the stems. I'm just gonna stick this in the pillowcase. Okay, next, I'm just going to basically thresh it. That means whack it, bang it, try to break all those little seeds off. Sometimes they would use a flail for this. That's a special tool that kind of flails it. I'm just basically beating it against concrete. The other thing I've seen people do is beat it with a stick. There you go, bad wheat, bad wheat. You can crumple it with your hands, you can shimmy it and shake it. That's called threshing. Okay, now that I've threshed it, I'm just gonna dump it out onto the screen. Here's the threshed wheat, and obviously we're gonna throw all this out. But look at, we've got all this grain hidden in with all the chaff. But how are you gonna separate that? We're gonna do it by winnowing. What is winnowing? Well, in its simplest form, you would drop the wheat and chaff, and the wind, if it's a windy day, would blow the chaff away, and the wheat berries, being heavier, would fall down onto the ground, directly below. But since it's not very windy today, our chaff is not really separating that well, so I've got another idea. All right, let me show you my idea. I've got a fan, I've got a bucket to catch the wheat berries, and all the chaff's gonna fly that way when I turn this fan on. You ready? That was phase one of separating the wheat from the chaff. And it did a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna run it through a second, maybe a third time, and just try to get rid of all the light chaff. Here goes round two. And this is what it looks like after the second exposure to wind. Now, I'll do this maybe one more time, but you get the idea. Here's the cleaned wheat berries, and now I'm gonna put them through an old-fashioned grinder. And these are two millstones, and the flour will come out here as I grind it. And here we have it, the final product. Directly from the field, this is the wheat on the stalk. And here we have the milled flour, ready to make bread or pie crust or dumplings. And it's whole wheat and it's delicious.